into the, as we did yesterday, this diamond pose shape and pulsing with the breath already. So inhale to open and but less focus on the inhale, more on the exhale. Even breathing out through an open mouth, inhaling the heart lifts and opens and exhaling, just letting it all go. Follow, following the exhalation all the way to its end. Exhale, exhale, exhale out. Not being in any hurry with this at all. In fact, being deliberately slow, deliberately emptying, clearing. It's thought that about 70% of the toxins are released via the breath. And even more than that, so much can happen via the breath. I'm reading this incredible book, Breath, by James Nestor. And even weight loss is, we exhale the fat out. We don't sweat it out, we don't, or we don't burn it up. We exhale it out. Fascinating, fascinating stuff. So breathing out all that Christmas pudding, all the overindulgence, breathing out 2020. And keeping this thing so you can um, come to a, a comfortable seat and inhaling the arms out and up, let the palms touch overhead. And as you exhale, come down through the center, but it's going to be very slow and complete. Think about navel to spine as you exhale. Inhale to stretch the arms up overhead and exhale down to your right side and just keep exhaling and see how far in you can go as you continue to exhale. Inhaling to lift through center and exhaling off to the left and just keep exhaling, keep going, keep going, keep going. Inhale up through center and exhale twisting off to the right. And again, just this very deliberate use of the exhalation and placing emphasis on the exhalation. Inhale to come back up through center and exhale off to the left. So moving and breathing the whole time. And the exhale is almost like this um, polish to the inside of the body, clearing out. You can go ahead and interlace the fingers behind the back of the body now and inhale to lift. Let's return back to this diamond pose. And if you're able to, exhaling and folding over. If that's too much in the arms or the shoulders, release the hands down, no problem. But again, just focus on that exhale and that natural letting go that happens. And then you can inhale to come on up. Bring the feet to hip width apart or even wider as you then press forward towards a, a squat position, malasana. Coming all the way forward now and uh, come to Uttanasana, standing forward fold, maybe nodding the head, yes, a few times. Perhaps this, just this experience of the bowl of the pelvis pouring your spine forward and down. So there's this cascading feeling, total, complete elongation through the spine. And a couple of ha breaths. Letting go. And then coming on up through a spinal roll. So chin to the chest as you emerge renewed already, inhaling all the way up and exhale the hands down through namaste. Inhale to sweep out and up. And again, just this deliberate 
severing the ties. Inhale to lift halfway up and exhale the right leg back to the back of the mat and dropping the right knee down onto the earth and pretty much taking that same movement that we did earlier, inhaling that we did in the warm up. Inhale the arms up overhead and exhale the left hand onto the left hip and lean left and see how far you can exhale across. Inhale back through center and then right hand to the hip and leaning right. And maybe even here you could take the hand onto the earth and lean across the mat. Taking care of your body though. Inhaling up through center and exhale into the twist. So twisting off to the left side inhaling back up through center palms touch and twisting off to the right but keep the hips square to the front and then inhaling to sweep both arms up overhead exhale release the hands down onto the earth step yourself back into plank pose so inhale into plank and then let's exhale back into downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to plank. And exhale to downward facing. If you wanted to, adding in a little push up here. So inhale forward. And exhale just halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale to lift. And exhaling back to downward facing. And do this once more, inhaling. Ah, oh, thankfully the sun's gone for me. <laughs> inhale to lift and exhale to downward facing. So inhale, travel forward and have that same deliberate slow exhale as you lower yourself all the way down onto the earth. Exhale, 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 empty. Draw the navel into the spine. And then inhale to rise up into your cobra. So cobra elbows are bent and hips are on the earth. And exhaling again, letting it go. Inhale to rise up, full or half push up, and then back into your downward facing. And even continuing the movement and the exhalation there, clearing. Inhale to stretch your right leg to the sky. And again, this unhurried exhale as you travel forward, tiger curl. Inhaling. And just as unhurried, stepping yourself through to uh, the space between the hands, the foot to the space between the hands. And coming on up, hands just into namaste. Inhale to take the arms up overhead and exhaling over to the right side. Inhale back through center and over to the left side and just keep exhaling with that little bit of navel to spine to see how deep you can go. Inhaling to come on up and exhale into the twist. So twisting yourself around to the right side. Inhale up through center. And as you twist to the left, do keep that uh, left hip facing forward. Excellent, inhale. Stretching the arms up and exhale, release the hands down to the earth. Inhale, stepping forward, lift halfway up. And as you exhale, let this cascade then happen down the backs of the legs as you ground the heels into the earth. So from the apex, you've got this like a double waterfall down the spine and down the backs of the legs. <sighs> Letting go with gravity. What is it that is extraneous that no longer serves you and feel the support to let that go? You can then come up probably through a spinal roll since we've been upside down for a little bit. Rise all the way up, palms touch and exhale straight back down to the earth. Inhale, lifting halfway up. 
and exhale the left leg to the back of the mat. So this time with the back leg staying straight, inhaling to take the arms on and exhale into your side bend. So off to the right, inhale through center and off to the left, side bending, inhaling back through center and then twisting yourself off to the right side. So the right hand could maybe come to the back of the left thigh. We'll hold here, if it's okay for you, reach the left arm up to the sky. And like you're leaning back with that same amount of support behind you, leaning back. And then inhaling the arms back up through center and twisting off to the uh, left side. But here we'll actually turn the left heel in and down. So you come into a Virabhadrasana 2 position. Just for a moment, straighten through that front leg. Inhale to lift and reach up. And exhaling, coming down and uh, elbow to knee hand to the floor. Some of you might like to go, so a Pashvakanasana, and some of you might like to go for the bind. So the pelvis is more open to the long edge of the mat. And we've got our right leg forward. So can you use your exhale to empty, to empty, to clear? And then melting both arms down, one hand either side of the foot. And step yourself back into your plank position. Again, as we did, exhale to press back into downward facing dog. Inhale, travel forward into plank. And exhaling, pressing back. Long, long, deliberate exhale. What is it that you're ready to let go of? All that's old, all that's crusty, all that no longer serves. So adding in this half push up now, the chaturanga position, shoulders just to elbow height. And of course you can do this with your knees on the floor. Let's come all the way down now, all the way down. Slow, slow descent. And then rising up. So this beautiful, curious human trait of rising and rising again. Exhaling and lower yourself down. Rise up through your full or half push up and Move back into downward facing dog. So then our left leg, inhale to send the left leg high. And exhale, again, that navel to spine, round through the back, emptying, clearing. Inhale, stretching up. And exhale, the foot forward to the hands. So keeping the back leg straight here. Inhaling the arms up through center and exhaling off to the left. So side bend left, stay strong through that back leg. Inhale back up through center and exhaling side bend off to the right. Sink down a little through your legs. Inhale back up through center and exhaling twisting off to the left. So the left hand then stays on the right thigh and reaching that front arm forward. So your right arm reaches and if you're able to a little bit of a back bend, maybe, maybe not. And inhaling the left arm up and exhaling twisting off to the right and grounding that back heel down. So we're in like a Vera two position. Inhale to straighten through the front leg and exhale into your Pashvakanasana, lateral angle pose. Remember you've got the bind options if you'd like. 
Hmm. Add in a little bit of cobra through the upper back. Add in this feeling of openness that you're creating just by letting go. So the more that you exhale and the more that it creates space for something fresh, something new, as in the inhale, to pour into your body. You can then release and touch the hands down either side of the foot. Step yourself back from here to downward facing and then melting the knees to the floor. Uh, sit back onto the heels and pausing here. Child's pose for a few moments. Exhaling this melting. I think that's my favorite bird, so pretty. Mm. So have this experience of following the exhale deliberately and even accessing that navel to spine activation. So you can then slide the hands back alongside the knees and come on up to this kneeling position. So one last little pose. And um, so check your knees are hip width apart. Inhaling to sweep the arms up overhead. And exhale to side bend off to the right side. Stay uh, active through the core, inhaling up through center and off to the left. Inhaling back through center and exhale, twist yourself around and looking over that right shoulder, even looking at that right foot. Inhale back up through center and then twisting off to the left. So in a moment, we're going to come into a half camel position, bringing the hand down onto the heel, maybe. Inhale to stretch the arms up. Keep the right arm lifted and then exhale the left hand down onto the lower back. So you can be either here or with the toes tucked coming into this um, half camel position. Again, still with that feeling of support behind you, support beneath you. With that exhalation supporting you, the letting go actually giving you more. And then press the hips forward and inhale to rise up. Keep the uh, left arm lifted now and right hand comes around onto the back. So some of us, this will be how you stay. For others, you might be able to take the hand down onto the heel perhaps even supporting the head. This is a naturally compressive position for the lower back. So good to think like a fountain bursting up and to keep that um, a little bit of tone through the core as well. Inhaling to rise up, let the palms touch overhead and then swan diving yourself forward and down, melting back into child's pose, pillowing the head on the hands. Hmm. Out with the old, out with the old. Continue breath by breath, clearing, releasing, letting go. And nature abhors a vacuum. So you could stay here or um, flip over to Shavasana if you have a little bit more time or simply come to Vajrasana and come to a seated position so now that we've created a hollow space in the body, imagine the arms and legs, the torso, like uh, empty hallways, but golden and luminous inner body, bright. 
And as you've let go and taken the polishing cloth to clear the inner landscape, what is it that you'd like to, the seed that you would like to plant today? And you can plant that seed into this cavernous body, fertile, rich and receptive. Let it echo through the body. Maybe it's peace. Maybe your word for 2021, or maybe it's your word just for today. Let it echo through your body. Let it be expressed across your face and through your actions today, through your speech today. Namaste to you. May this practice carry you through today with such joy, such ease, with a lightness of being. Namaste. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your practice.